DV Studio Lite, this utility is for creating simple playlists that can be deployed to the ViewStream or Video Flyer products, uh, either by um, CF card, uh, USB, uh, FTP, direct to the player, or FTP to a server. Um, as mentioned uh, earlier, I said uh, DV Studio Lite has the media converter software integrated. So it makes it an all-in-one powerful, simple utility to uh, um, create your playlist and deploy your content. So let's, let's take a look at that. Uh, I have it uh, in my applications, and you can see we have the icon here for DV Studio Lite. I open this up. The first thing that pops up is it asks me, do you want to create a new playlist, or do I want to open an existing playlist? Um, so here we will open, uh, sorry, create a new playlist. I'll just maximize the size. Okay, just to look at the uh, windows and, and what you can see here. Um, we can see down the left-hand side of under places uh, is the my folders. So if I click on desktop, I can click on the content store, which is on my desktop. And you'll see appear across the top is the files, whether they're JPEGs, .ts formats, MPEGs, WMV files, whichever, whatever what I'm working with. Um, so they, they're appearing in the top section. This big white window in the middle um, is what I'm going to use to create the playlists. Um, it does give you a step-by-step -step guide here to start you off. As it says, step one, drag and drop the media here to create a new playlist. So that's what we're going to do. Um, we'll, we'll bring in two. We'll bring in two. We'll bring in a JPEG and we'll bring in a, 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 a .ts file. So firstly, We'll take from the top bar, as I click on it, it's highlighted it yellow. I'm going to drag that down to the playlist window. So that one's down. And you can see it's my track one, the file name, how large that file is, how long it's going to play for. So this is a video file, and it's telling me it's going to play for five seconds. And you can see what date I modified this. The next one I'm going to bring down is a JPEG image. So we'll bring the loop video, uh, sorry, the loop JPEG down. I drag it down here. Um, so here it gives a little icon telling me it's a, a still image. It's track two, 330 kilobytes, and it's currently playing five seconds. Well, let's say I want to play that for 15 seconds. So if I right click on it, I can edit the JPEG duration. So I just open that, I one, five, and I click offside the box, and it's now for 15 seconds. So I have a, um, a transport stream file and I have a JPEG file. Um, I can swap them around in order of play, so I can drag them around so it changes the order of play. And as you can see on the left, oh, sorry, on the right hand side, it shows you the uh, the playlist order I'm going to work with. At the bottom, um, you'll see it tells me the total file size is 8.49 megabytes, and it's going to play for in total 20 seconds. And then the button at the bottom is the deploy button. So uh, if I click on the deploy button, next it's going to ask me to save my playlist. So here I can choose the folder where I want to save it to. So if I choose uh, my desktop and I just save it straight to the desktop, um, or I could create a new folder. Perhaps I'll create a new folder and I'll call the folder Ian. And I'm going to call the playlist, uh, let's call that test. Click save. Now it's brought me a new window up. It's asking me what my target play is going to be. So here we have the 300, the 505, the 500, the 700, and then the video flyer series. Um, again, if I click on the 300, it will tell me that uh, the playlist includes uh, a non-supported file for the target player. So it's already given me a warning. So it's already telling me I must use the media converter. So there is a, um, error reporting to make sure that uh, it, you know that your clients don't do anything they shouldn't be doing. So again, for this demonstration, we'll use the 500. Um, so I've clicked on 500, and I will say actually yes, I want to use the built-in media converter. This is um, the built-in one that we've just shown you, um, and I'm going to convert the JPEG that I've got in the playlist to a video file. That's correct, that's completed. I'm going to click the next button. Now that now it's asking me where I want to deploy this content to. So as you'll see, I can deploy the content to a CF card, 
or a SD card, depending on your player. I can deploy it to a USB flash drive. So this is where you can update the content on a player by inserting the USB key. Now, to make it simple, what this does for you is it also adds the additional files it, that, to the um, USB key to make it simple. So um, I, I'll give you a demonstration uh, of uh, what that will do and the files that are put on. Um, we can deploy to a player. Now, on my local network here uh, at the office, I have two players. I have a, um, a 500 on test and I have a 700 on test. Um, I could select all and I could click deploy and that will deploy this to, this will be pushing the content to these players. Um, I can deploy to an FTP server. So again, if I have the host and the username and the passwords, I can deploy that to the FTP server so the players out there in the field can come in and collect that content. To show you how it creates it, we'll We'll say we're going to deploy it to a um, actually we're going to deploy it to a USB flash drive, um, and uh, I have you know if I if I say actually my USB flash drive is actually on my um, desktop, um, to give you an example, I choose that, and I click on the deploy button. So you can see it's going to deploy it currently to my desktop, and it's going to create a folder on there called media. So if this was a USB drive, it would create a folder on the USB on the USB key called media and put all the files that are required into it. So I simply click deploy and you can see the converting starts and starts going through the conversion process. So it's doing the, uh, the transport stream video first. So we, the idea of it um, re-encoding is you might have a transport stream video but the bit rates may be incorrect. So this way, it makes sure your files are correct, ready to be deployed to the, 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 your target player. So total seven files were deployed to what would be the, the USB stick. So if I minimize this screen, um, we will see it's created a folder over here called media, and it's created a get login file and an update any file. The update any file would be telling the player to replace the content um, to overwrite and transfer the content that's sitting in the media folder. And as you can see, I have my logo.ts file and my logo and uh, my loop.ts file. I have a playlist and I have the project file. So these are all the files required that would be deployed to your USB stick. You'd take it out, you'd insert it into the player, and it would be working. 